New at 5, hundreds of people in Denver preparing to spend a fourth night without hot water and the use of their stoves. 7 News reporter Don Champion live at 9th and Grape. Don, you found it's an underground mystery causing this problem with the gas line. That's right, Mike. Somehow water has been getting into gas lines here. It's been happening for nearly a 20 block area or so. Now this neighborhood has become one huge construction zone. For four days now, Mickey Musset and his wife have been getting the sound, but no gas. Ooh, pork ribs. Their only means for cooking crock pots. The Mussets and nearly 200 of their neighbors dealing with the gas outage. And we went to turn on the gas stove and we had gas, we had flame for a moment and then it died. XL Energy has been drilling and digging several feet underground ever since, trying to find the problem, water that has somehow gotten into its system. We have a lot of folks here that want to get this solved pretty quickly. Mark Stutz is with XL Energy and admits it is almost like finding a needle in a haystack. Crews have been digging multiple holes along nearly two miles of pipes in the neighborhood, trying to find the source of the water. It is literally digging up holes in streets at key points that you, you know, make an educated guess at thinking where we might have a leak. Compounding the problem, many homes affected now need new meters because they were flooded by the water. But the priority, at least for now, is finding the leak point, all while people like the Mussets watch and wait. Thank God it's summertime, because if this had happened, we would have no heat. Pretty well said there. Now, XL officials are actually working with uh, Denver water officials on trying to figure out exactly where this leak is. They're even going over topography maps. But as you can see, they continue to dig up holes here, trying to find that leak spot. Uh, customers in this area have been told they could be without gas for several more days. We're live in East Denver. Don Champion, 7 News. All right, Don, thanks very much. Now, we first learned about this problem from a 7 News viewer. If you have a story idea for us, give us a call at 303 832 or email us at newstips at thedenverchannel.com.